Hey, the people. <coughs> right. Right, we're going to go off cultivating this afternoon. And then go home. And <coughs> so I'm just going to check it all on the tractor and grease the Gavon up. Here we go. As you possibly notice there, you can see there, there are lots of new front tyres. New front tyres only at the minute. <coughs> um, reason being is the um, I got two punches in the old tyre. In uh, the near side one, um, got a nail in the cleat there, um, which we fixed, that wasn't a problem. But then the offside tyre, this tyre, got a split right on the sidewall there. <coughs> and um, um, we managed to plug it to keep going for a while till we got the new tyres. Um, but when they go on the sidewall there, even putting a gator on the inside, uh, they never last long because you get so much flex in the sidewall you see so um so she needed a new set of tires anyway so um john's gone for a set of bkt's some bkt agri max and they're 670 r30s and to be honest they look a fair tire <coughs> i suppose they're a mid-range tire um but uh I know you can't go too much on looks like, you know, the proof's in the pudding, but they look a fair tire to be honest. Uh, well, uh, <coughs> to see how they perform. They've got to be better than, uh, than what we had on there previous, anyway. So I'll just check the oil and the water. I didn't check the transmission in, did I? Just check the transmission. Right there, just breathing it. <coughs> yeah, that's just uh, there's one a bit in it, but it'll be alright for the day. It's not on the full mark, but I'll just check engine oil. <coughs> you know what, days? You've been ratting. Oh dear. You'd probably tell us I still haven't uh, shook this cold. Well, the cold's going. Cold is on the move. Still got a bit of a blocked nose, but um, it's uh, cough's a bit persistent. But again, the coughs always last a bit longer, didn't they? Seem to. <coughs> yep, she's on the nicely on the full mark. Cool on. Watch out, Pen. <coughs> you know, I said on a previous video about John was uh, not happy with the fuel consumption on us. He thought it was uh, um, a lot more than the 8250 would be. Well, this was doing on the power hour when I was <coughs> doing the power hour with it. Um, it was about 45, um, well, from 40 to 50 litres per hour. Yep, yeah, looks all right. Um, which is a, a fair lot, I know. It's quite a few, it's quite a bit of diesel. Um, but, uh, <coughs> and I'd be honest, I don't know what a John Deere or Fenta or New Orleans would do doing the same job with the same power hour, I don't know. But, um, it is what it is. Anyway, Steve, he's powering top field at the minute. And uh, he was touching uh, 60 litres an hour, which is uh, a hell of a lot. <coughs> so, um, I'm all done with the key. I didn't have the key. Is it in my pocket? There it is. Um, which means that uh, the 8250 isn't uh, a magic tractor and, and uses considerably less fuel than this. Um, they're all much of a muchness. 
To be honest, the Cummins ain't renowned for the fuel efficiency. Um, be interesting to put a 200 horsepower vent on it and see what that would do. <coughs> right, we've just got a um, which one's which? It's brown, I think. No, it's green. I'll just um, grease up the the bottom bearings um, first while it's soldered up because it's quite it is a bit easier to <coughs> to grease them up. <coughs> there, girls. Um, when it's folded rather than uh, when it's open because you've got to clamber through the machine. So we'll get the grease gun. <coughs> now we've had, um, I know Wes on his channel, he got uh, sent a lock and lube um, probably about a month ago or something. And um, he loves it. Now we've had a lock and lube since before harvest. I can't think what they're called in this country. They're not called lock and lube, but we'll call them lock and lube for the um for the time being because i can't think what they're called in this country but um our one is i think exactly the same <coughs> um and uh it is very useful although it has the seal has failed already in it um we haven't i'm pretty sure we haven't got a and the little service kit you can get for it so um this one does leak already which isn't brilliant <coughs> so we'll have a look this is one of our McNaught grease guns we've got one of these pistol action with a flexios on and we've got a uh, normal lever one with a rigid <coughs> a rigid hose on it and the McNaught, the McNaught as probably most of you know are a very good gun about one of the best guns you can buy um, I do like the pistol one, it's uh, blooming useful. Now the lock and lube as we uh, call it, what do they call it? G coupler. Um, now we've got it on the DeWalt gun, DeWalt grease gun, which is a gun we bought at um, <coughs> uh, start of this year. We'd been using Sealy electric ge uh, grease guns before and um, <coughs> They never, they never lasted very long. They um, always used to break um, where the grip was. Slightly different on these, but where the uh, the pistol, where the grip attached to the gun, it would always tend to break off there. And we had, I think, we had about three of them over the past few years. And everyone would do the same after ooh, a year or so, maybe less. So we popped it for this um, DeWalt, 18 volt, 4 amp hour, with Leon batteries, <coughs> two batteries with it. A lot more money, probably 400 or quid's worth. But um, you are buying, you know, DeWalt's reliability. I do, I am a fan of DeWalt stuff. I've got, uh, um, I've always had one of their drills. And um, you can see, look, see we're not even remotely sealing. So that's a bit of a waste of time at the minute. But uh, no, DeWalt stuff, good stuff. Don't tell me this is empty, no, it's not empty. It's not exactly greasing that very, very well, is it? <coughs> a bit of air in it. There we go. Certainly gonna have to, yeah, it's not greasing that bearing hardly at all, is it? Um, I'm certainly gonna have to go through this machine. Like I said in a previous uh, video, we're gonna have a bit of a change round. We've got a, a bent scraper there. All these scrapers ain't very good, they want sorting out. And we need to do something with this roller. <coughs> Either put shatter boards in front of it, or I did think putting the spiral roller on the front, and this pack of roller on the back would be a a fairer idea. Where's this one? I forget where it is. There. Yeah, there it is. So 
but something we've uh, hopefully get done this winter. That's that one. <coughs> Get where are these? Let me get a screwdriver. <coughs> so we'll take that back. Uh, when we first got this and uh, lock and lube, yeah, it was uh, fantastic. Just hook it on, and um, <coughs> it would. Uh, it would, uh, yeah, you didn't need to hold it on, do anything with it. Far away, and it would be fine. But, uh, like I say, it hasn't lasted long. Need to have it apart, and, um, <coughs> and, um, I'm sure there's just an O ring gone in there or something. It's one of them little jobs you sort of, you never get around to, do you? Oh, girls. Girls are still doing a bit of ratting. Right, ain't the girls? The top side of this, I can't remember. Yeah, there she is. Once we've uh, these bottom ones we can unfold and do the hours we can go and do a bit of cultivating <coughs> that was clear I did watch um, after a lot of you uh, recommended how farms work I did check um, Check some of his videos out uh, uh, yesterday. And that one ain't doing a great deal, is it? Um, <coughs> I just, uh, specifically checked out his ox beam one. Well, I checked out a few to be honest. Checked out his ox beam one. Refitted that uh, 52 inch curved LED light bar to his um, to his combine. And um, and uh, yes, yeah, uh, it was a good watch to be honest. And I watched his um, some of his videos with uh, where is it forward or back? Oh, it's top side in this one, isn't it? <coughs> um, with his uh, yeah, that New Orleans. Um, 315 the HD one with the uh, New Orleans butterfly uh, mowers for the front mower and uh, yeah that was a nice bit of kit don't know why New Orleans don't sell mowers over here but I've got to admit I didn't even really know that New Orleans sold uh, Sold uh, some mowers, let alone a butterfly system like that. Looked a fair, fair mower to be honest. Yeah, it's quite interesting why they, uh, why they don't sell certain machines in certain markets. I mean, who's to say that uh, <coughs> that them. Uh, Mowers wouldn't sell over here. There's nothing to say that they wouldn't, I don't think. We know now they're priced. Oh, where's them dogs? There's Benny. Um, 
anyway yeah getting back to what I was on about about how farms work yeah he's got nearly as many subscribers as Wes and um, fair play to him I need to get our metal wheels up on that concrete a bit um, yeah and that was quite an interesting on his ox being <coughs> Days spin it float yeah so I've I've had a return email from Oxbeam um, <coughs> uh, detailing about um, God bloody stiff that is um, but their new range which I've not looked at yet um, so uh, I'll get something sent over and um, oh that was one of the other things I did read on the email quickly um, is that I did see on their website they do LED headlight bulbs now I've bought a set of them off eBay before and um, <coughs> was going to, well I just tried them just for quickness in, in a loader just to see how bright they were and they were pathetic they were near as good as a um, as a normal standard uh, was a H7 just out of interest I think we've still got a bit left um, so I thought well they're a waste of time but um, Oxbeam being a proper company obviously <coughs> um, we will give them a go that will be quite interesting to see how good they are I ever say HID like this tractor's got um, I'll put HID um, dipped headlights in it and of course this tractor has got um, previous owner they put an extra set of headlights up there now that would be interesting to put some uh, LED bulbs in there and see how they perform <coughs> Parcel there. Um, so we will uh, I should be getting a set of them and we will do a little review on them and obviously we're I'm still gonna um, I've decided I'm gonna do a bit of a giveaway rather than um, um, keep hold of that light bar that they send whichever one they do send <coughs> so um, yeah again I've not decided how I'm gonna do the giveaway yet I did have um, I did have some suggestions um, that I read on my phone but the phone doesn't display um, all of the messages sometimes especially on longer longer comments and um, one chat he did uh, I remember he was um, he did come up with an idea but um, I couldn't read it all because it didn't uh, it didn't display it all so uh, I need to have a look and um, see what uh, what else he put in the comment indeed if any of you guys have a have an idea how to how to come up with um, a fair way of seeing who wins I'm all up for hearing it so let me know in the comment section <sighs> Do this side. 
What are you doing under there, Daze? Oh, God, that one's a bit left I ain't taking that. <coughs> They've got nips on, I don't think they have. One on. Well, that'll do anyway. Let's get off this. <coughs> right. Well, that'll do for now. Um, hope you enjoyed. And I'll probably do one. Let's go up the road with it and have a little chat. Right, I'll catch you later.